Hey, YouTube fans. Uh, I'm still at work, uh, but I was so excited uh, when I got this knife uh, two hours ago, so I needed to take uh, some few minutes uh, to advertise you about this knife. Uh, I couldn't uh, even uh, wait uh, till tonight. So, uh, this is the sock facet, guys. Uh, check them on Knife Center. They're at $149 these days. Hopefully, you will get this price. Uh, it's a steal. Period. That's a steal. For that kind of money, you get a huge, huge, huge amount uh, of uh, of knife, blade, or whatever you need. Uh, it's worth probably twice uh, this price. It almost looked like a like a custom knife. Uh, it's an absolutely great EDC or gentleman knife. Uh, it can be beaten at this price. It can be beat. Really, believe me. Uh, I've got a fair amount of uh, knives. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, this is just a great, absolutely great bargain. So check them. So it comes today with some goodies. Some are good, some less. Uh, this one, yeah, can be helpful when you're a moron like me and you cut yourself uh, almost every day. Uh, so that can be helpful. It comes also with, uh, oh yeah, my friend, Mr. Karambit from uh, Reese Island prototype. Yeah. I got a video about this one. Uh, it stays with me every day ever since I got it, like uh, three months ago. Uh, so it helped me to open the box of this baby, and this is also this comes uh, with. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this shitty knife. Uh, it looks like shit doesn't cut shit. Uh, Pakistani Chinese looking knife, and not only that, it looks like a Pakistani knife, but it's written all over. So you you know. Uh, the sanction is just a vertical classification. There you go. I don't want to see you. Uh, yeah, that is the right place for the right, uh, you know, right place for the right tool. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's go back to a great, absolutely great knife. Uh, so 149. Now let's go with the overview. Basically, I bought this knife for the bolsters. Uh, that only worth the $149. Uh, those bolsters are made out of nickel. Uh, I don't remember having uh, any other knife with nickel. So you know, uh, when you when you think of how special can uh, a knife be, just think about all your collection and think about how many G10 knives you will have, how many frame locks you will have, how many, you know, uh, arc lock or whatever. Uh, uh, for one feature, you have probably, for collectors, I mean, uh, probably a lot, a lot of knife. Uh, nickel bolsters, that is the only, that's unique, that is the only knife that I have that has nickel bolsters. Period. Just for that, as from the collector point of view, just for that, it deserves uh, its money. And it's not only a feature, it's just an absolutely great feature. Uh, the, the, the checkers pattern uh, is mind-blowing it catches the light from everywhere it's in 3d uh, and, and and it's bronze uh, you can see that the color here is not the same uh, as the blade hopefully you can see it if not believe me this is uh, it looks like almost if it's uh, if it's anodized uh, I, I, I don't want to say stupid things uh, I have no idea if you can or not uh, anodize uh, uh, the nickel uh, I don't pretend to be a uh, steel uh, expert so yeah you know leave any comments uh, I won't even bother uh, checking that I don't care what can I what the only thing I can say is that it looks bronze and that the uh, uh, the, 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 the the looks of it is just just mind-blowing so uh, I, I could stop my video here uh, and that would be enough uh, the money is well spent for this that's it and if you agree with me don't bother uh, hearing uh, the rest of my ramblings. Uh, go in Knife Center and pay 149, uh, and you will have probably one unique knife in your collection just for this feature. Then you have the carbon fiber. I'm very pleased that they use their carbon fiber on this knife because, like I said, uh, I bought it for the bolster, so I don't care about the rest of the knife. Uh, anyway, uh, I didn't want to buy uh, other knife from Saw with this carbon fiber because it looks like G10, but. Uh, since I don't care on this one, it's great because I can appreciate it. And uh, you know what? Actually, it's kind of nice. Uh, it's a win-win. You have uh, all the goodies from the G10, the, 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 the traction here, uh, the retention, uh, yeah, the grip is great. Uh, yeah, very, very nice, like G10. And also the looks of it, you know, you see, uh, you see the pattern here. 
uh, yeah, when you see it like that, it, it really looks like the carbon fiber. So I think that it's, a, yeah, for, now, to, now for me, it's a nice feature. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, let's move on with the knife. The backspacer, it's very neat and everything is in place, great. Uh, it has to be a G10 probably, yeah. The other side it is the same with the clip. And thank you, Sog, for adding a clip uh, on this knife. Yeah, look at that, looks neat with the clip, the, the, the pattern on the, the carbon fiber and the, and the, the bolsters. Now you can tell uh, that they're bronze. Uh, yeah, thank you for the clip. I love this clip. It makes for a very deep carry in the pocket. Uh, when it, it is where on the chin, the looks of it is just great. You see, that's how it looks. It is neat. You know, it can be. You can have, you know, a, a jacket, uh, nice shoes, and it's, you know, it looks just great. Uh, it, it's not like you say, you know, hey, look at me. I've got a big knife in my pocket. Uh, I, I kind of like that. And for those of you who say that it's difficult to, to take out the knife when it's deep carry, <sighs> tell you the truth, I, I don't understand that. Look at that. When you want, want to carry it, I, I take it out like that. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't see uh, the hassle here. Uh, oh, okay. You see, so it's very easy. So I don't understand uh, this, uh, this argument. So, yeah, let's move on. Uh, it's held on by the, the arc lock system, which has to be one of my favorite. Uh, locking uh, mechanism, uh, not because of its strength, it's very strength, a strong uh, mechanism, but because of its uh, smoothness. Uh, hear that? The, it's just every knife that I have with the arc lock is just great, uh, and also for that matter, the axis lock. Uh, yeah, it's also smooth, but I prefer the arc lock. Uh, still, uh, I need to break it. Uh, it's not really smooth when you close it, you see. But uh, like I said, two hours, I just play with it like uh, 10 minutes, uh, no more. Uh, yeah, like I said, thank you for the clip. It's just a great feature, great uh, retention. Uh, and uh, this is missing on my Tomcat and my uh, Fatcat. Uh, and it goes well with the knife. Uh, overall, the dressing of the knife is just, just amazing, amazing. Uh, now, since it's a knife, I, uh, you have to take some time to consider the blade. <coughs> the shape of the blade, is yeah that's a crazy shape i love it uh you, it's made out of uh, senmai vg10 for those of you who don't know what is the senmai uh, this line that you have here is not a flow a flow sorry uh it is actually the senmai so here below the line this is vg10 and up there it's uh, another steel <laughs> let's uh, keep it like that here is vg10 here it's another steel so it's a kind of mix of steel uh, and uh, the vg10 is uh, from here you have only vg10 in the middle here there is vg10 if i remember correctly uh, the way it's uh, put together and uh, 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 all over here it's another uh, steel uh, which is softer than the, the vg10 uh, and the finish is, like I said, mirror polish. So, you know, uh, whatever you have uh, below, uh, behind, sorry, it catches. Here is my iPhone with the camera and uh, yeah, the case, my hand there. Uh, uh, it's a real, actually, real mirror. Oh, here, here I am. Yeah, some of my uh, persona. Uh, it's a real mirror polish finish. Absolutely awesome. Awesome. But it catches everything uh, that men created on Earth, uh, fingerprints or uh, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, let me try to clean it just a little bit. We we'll see if it works. Yeah, it's just just a stunning. Uh, yeah, BG10 Seki City Japan, as always with the high-end knives from uh, from Sog. You know what? I saw something that annoyed me a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's annoying me. You see here the the line of the Senmai finishes just before the tip. Uh, so the tip is not VG10, so I'm kind of disappointed, uh, and that for me is a flow. And I might just send it back, uh, because I, I don't like that. I don't like uh, this knife to have a flow. Uh, yeah, that's the only flow that I can uh, say. You see here, the Sanwai goes all along to the tip, <coughs> and as I said, it's just a perfect knife. It won't lessen my pleasure. Uh, I could live with that. Uh, if they can change it, that's okay. But uh, I, I won't give up on this knife just because uh, of this little flow. Uh, anyway, again, 
high end, absolutely high end knife. Uh, great bargain. Buy it while you can for this price. Uh, like I said, it can be a bit. So I want it to be short. It's over 10 minutes. So I'm going to stop here and see you guys for another video. And hope you enjoyed this one. Leave any comments uh, below. Uh, and uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, like that I will probably get the envy to continue those videos because I'm having fun doing them and uh, since it touches some people uh, all around the world uh, not a lot but I don't care even one only one is enough for me so whenever I have only one person that like uh, my videos it's uh, enough for me okay I see you for another video so bye bye